It's Cindy from the William B. Harlan Memorial Library, and today we're going to read Aqualicious. This book was written and illustrated by Victoria Kahn, and is from the HarperCollins Publishing. I was collecting seashells. I found a shell and held it next to my ear so I could listen to the ocean. Have you all ever done that? Put a shell up to your ear and see if you can hear the ocean. Instead of hearing the ocean, I heard a little voice inside the shell. Put me down. I'm trying to nap, the voice said. Eek! I screamed. I was scared, but I was also curious. I looked inside the shell. I saw a little face with long hair. Can you help me, said the little voice. Help you? What are you, I asked. So look what was inside her shell. I am Aqua, she said shyly, wiggling out of the shell. Hi, my name is Pinkalicious, I said. Oh, I love the color pink, but blue is my favorite color, Aqua said. I'm a mermini. What is a mermini, I asked. Merminis are a smaller, rarer species of mermaid, said Aqua. Just like there are lots of different kinds of fish, there are lots of different kinds of mermaids. Merminis only inhabit this sea coast. I am actually quite well known, and I, uh, wow, I screamed excitedly before she could finish. I didn't think mermaids or merminis actually existed. I put aqua in my bucket so I could show her to my brother, Peter. So she's a mermini, isn't she? A tiny mermaid. Peter, look what I found. A mermini mermaid, I said. Peter was burying Mommy and Daddy in the sand while they napped. I dumped the contents of the bucket onto the towel. Say something, Aqua, I commanded. I was actually speaking to you when you put me in your pail of periwinkles, hermit crabs, and seashells, which I do not appreciate. Hermit crabs bite. I'd like to go home now, please. So she's showing the marmini to her brother, isn't she? Yes, you do need a home, Peter said. Come on, Pinkalicious. Let's build a palace for her. I bet she's the princess. Peter and I immediately got to work. We built a big sand castle with turrets and decorated it with shells, stones, and feathers. Do you like it, Aqua, I asked. Yes, I do like it. It is lovely, but it isn't my home. I live underwater, and I should get back there, she said. So they've made her a beautiful sand castle, haven't they? But she says she needs to go home. You can come to the William B. Harlan Memorial Library and check out Aqualicious and see if Mermini Mermaid gets home. Remember, be safe and be kind. Thank you.